This question is from Subhashish Mukherjee and he says, I want to know the truth of black magic. My non-Bengali friends believe black magic has come into existence from West Bengal. How much <laughs> truth is there in this? It's a very Bengali question. <laughs> the truth <laughs> They're not asking how much truth in the black magic, they're asking whether it came from West Bengal or not. Well, uh, Kerala people believe it came from Kerala. It's little fishy, both the populations <laughs> Lot of fish in them, you know <laughs> So, uh, at one time in this country, as you have uh, a family doctor, they used to have a witch doctor. Almost every family had somebody to consult on these kind of aspects because these arts were so widespread. Did it originate in Bengal? Did it originate in Kerala? No, I think it survived more in Kerala and Bengal today. In other places, it's gotten a little wiped out. Essentially, what you're talking about is occult. Occult is a certain technology that you can use your energies uh, to create certain impact. But unfortunately, it's gotten very negative press because market was for the negative. So people used it more negatively than positively. It could also be used positively. It's like any other technology, you can either use it positively or negatively. Unfortunately, the negative usage became overwhelmingly larger than the positive usage. So people think occult means it's negative. No, the usage has become unfortunately negative. It could also be used in a positive manner. When I say it could also be used in a positive manner, you can transform life with it. You could uh, people make people help people out of their health situations, out of their psychological situations, various things could be done. Instead of that, because the market is mainly for the negative, somebody pays you to cause detriment to some other life at the benefit of somebody else's… to somebody else's benefit. To your detriment, somebody else's benefit it is being done. Because of that, it's gotten a negative image. Occult is like this. See, right now all of you have a phone. Suppose you had a phone hundred years ago, cell phone hundred years ago, you could claim you have occult powers because you could just take this and speak to somebody in America, everybody woo hoo hoo, they will see you up, okay? <laughs> yes or no? So, occult is just technology. You could communicate, you could use your energies to communicate with somebody. But as modern technology becomes more and more subtle, the need for occult is receding, receding quite a bit because so many things that we used to do in occult, today can be delivered. You can send a WhatsApp message, you don't have to sit there focusing to send a message to somebody anymore. It took a lot more energy and time to do that. Now. Message goes. So, messaging business has completely fallen out of occult. Otherwise, occult was mainly used to deliver messages to people in a different way. You have heard of telepathy and telecommunic… you know, not telecommunication, telekinetics and various other things where things were done from a distance. But today all those things are being done by regular technology. So, occult or the requirement for occult is withdrawing. The need is just going away and probably most of it will go away. There are a few things that one could do, but above all, if… if we created a society that whatever is given to you, you will use it in a positive way, occult can be a tremendous possibility, as technology can be a tremendous possibility. As I mentioned earlier, most of the technology is used for developing arms and armaments and bombs and nuclear bombs and more and more destructive things. The same thing could have been used for something else. Absolutely, positive things could have been done, but that's not been done because the market is for the negative. Similarly, the same things have happened to Uncle, your uh, Mukherjee friend. Uh 
Well, I think from what I hear, I think Kerala tops in the occult practices even today. Next comes West Bengal. Next probably some northeastern states have this, but they're very rudimentary occult. Kerala occult is quite sophisticated. You will see a lot of occult in North America, in the North American tribes, but very basic, mainly messaging occult. But now they all have smartphones, so it's all going out. I think Kashmir at one time had a lot of occult. Bengal, Kerala, Northeast, well, some parts of Andhra Pradesh and Orissa, but now market is done.